I'm sorry, you have waited for this for so long. After the last video on erectile dysfunction, many of you request more content on the topic. Erectile dysfunction is incredibly complex. I wondered how to cover everything in a single video, and I decided to split it into parts. As you already know, erectile dysfunction can be divided into three main issues. The first is the physical problems. The second is the psychological problems. And the third is external factors, such as smoking or medication. If you're experiencing erectile dysfunction, you've probably tried medication like Viagra or Cialis, right? One of my patients, a man in his late 40s, has like a bodybuilder's body. It was a long time ago, so I don't remember the dosage, but he said he was taking seven Viagra pills. I remember the number seven because he said lucky seven for him. I told him that taking like that could be fatal, but he didn't listen. Obviously, he didn't consult with his doctor. He just increased the dosage one by one. I was so scared for him, but he didn't listen to me. He didn't listen to his urologist. Anyway, if you take this medication for too long or incorrectly, you may develop drug resistance, requiring higher dose, and eventually, they are not going to work anymore. So today, in the first part of this series, I will tell you how to take these medications to get the best results. Let's double the effectiveness. Double the effectiveness. Here we go. The first is finding the right medication for you. Viagra and Cialis are the most well-known, but if they don't work well, doctors will prescribe Levitra or Stendra. These medications are PDE5 inhibitor, and each type works a bit differently. There are four types. The one with the longest duration is Tadalafil or Cialis, which lasts for 36 hours. But the other ones also last more than four hours, so you shouldn't have a problem with romantic event because of the duration. The fastest onset time is Avenafil at a 15 to 30 minutes. The others take 30 to 60 minutes. So generally, you take them an hour before intercourse. The most important factor is effectiveness. I did a lot of research and made a table. So you should screenshot the last table that has all the info at the end of the video. Anyway, although there aren't significant difference, the one with the best score was Tadalafil. The efficacy index score was a 90, and the IIEF score was 9 to 11 points higher from baseline. Keep in mind that these scores might not be drastically different in real life. However, if you and your partner become a fire and don't have a 30 minutes, a Venafil with the shortest onset time might be a good choice. If you take low dose Tadalafil daily, remember it might take up to a month to see full effect. The second is watch your meals. When we go out for dinner or anniversary, romantic meals are almost always part of the routine, right? But when everything went smooth and well, and you're feeling good and lucky, it's going to take about 30 minutes to the house, and you take the pill right after meal, that could be a problematic because the meal can interfere with the drug's effectiveness. Look at this graph. It shows the plasma concentration of sildenafil. Dark blue is on an empty stomach and light blue is after meal. It goes up to 450 on an empty stomach, but only around 280 after meal. This is a significant difference. Not all medicines are affected though. Uh, sildenafil and verdenafil are affected by food, while tadalafil and avanafil are not. If it's hard to remember the different name of the medicine, just think it's uh, best to take all of them on an empty stomach. But you need to eat something to have energy and perform a romantic time, right? Then wait two hours after meal. After two hours, you can take it and get the effect of an empty stomach. If you only have a Viagra and have to eat and don't have two hours, don't go to steakhouse go for sushi, I mean low-fat meal. Third, what if I don't have enough time? Sometimes things can heat up unexpectedly and you need to take the medication and be ready quickly. Wait, wait, 
Wait, wait, you never know, right? There are various forms of medication, capsule, tablet, powders. There is also something called an oral dispersible film, which dissolves in your mouth like a Listerine breath strip. In South Korea, they made Cialis into a ODF and compare its blood concentration with that of a tablet. As you can see, they're almost the same in terms of absorption and onset time. However, there is a way to speed up an absorption, which is using a sublingual method. People with angina, they put nitroglycerin under their tongue when they get a chest pain, right? It's the same idea. You dissolve the medication under your tongue. Tablets are hard to use this way because it's coated, so it's better with the powder. Sildenafil has a powder form. There was a study showing how the onset time changes when sildenafil 20 mg is taken sublingually. It reduced the average time to 15.5 minutes instead of 30 minutes. And this study was on children. When sildenafil was given sublingually, the blood concentration increased by 314% to 361% uh, compared to taking it orally. Oh, they even sell Tadarophil trochis as a candy type. But remember, in order to work, it has to be sublingual method, not just melting in your mouth. Anyway, there is a counter argument that due to its low solubility, sublingual absorption might not be effective. So it's hard to conclude whether this is effective or not, but this study was more theoretical approach and hasn't been thoroughly tested in human trials. Even though I'm not a strong believer in anecdotal stories, but there are quite a lot of positive feedbacks in real life. So you can think of it as there's no harm in trying in urgent situation. So let me summarize. First, finding the right medication for you is important. Data on the efficacy of these drugs show that 60 to 70% of people respond to them. That means 30 to 40% don't respond to this medication. So don't get too stressed if it doesn't work for you. Try other methods like Eastern medicine. Second, avoid taking them after meal. Even though some drugs aren't affected by food, it's easier to remember to take them on an empty stomach or two hours after meal. And third, if something needs to happen immediately, try taking it sublingually. Here's the table that I use for this video. So you can take a screenshot if needed. Because I want to make the video short, I will skip on who shouldn't take this medication. Because if you're taking this medication, you are seen by doctors, so you already know. And please, please don't purchase this type of medication online. It could be really dangerous. Next time, I will talk about more fundamental ways to overcome erectile dysfunction beyond just taking medication or supplements. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like and subscribe to the channel. I promise next few videos on this topic will be very helpful. Remember, health is wealth, so invest in yourself. This is Dr. Sean, making health easy for you. See you next week.